Hello, I am Linda Philby. I am a kindergarten through fifth grade STEAM teacher at Shallery Elementary. And I did a lesson for third graders on bees. And this is what all the buzz is about. Here's my information if you would need to get to contact with me. And I work at Shallery. Throughout two months, which would probably only be two weeks if you are a regular school science teacher, but since I'm a STEAM teacher and I only see my students for 40 minutes a week, we worked with bees. You can see here how the students made their own beehive compared to a regular beehive. And this is pretty much what we will be looking at throughout this presentation. These are the two books that I used with this presentation. What is there? What if there were no bees, which is an amazing book that and I'm going to give a shout out to Tori. She's the one who suggested I buy this book. This is an amazing book. It literally blocks out as you start reading it. If we lose bees, it starts to black out everything, food. Um, it darkens out flowers, just everything we would lose if there weren't bees. It's great for um, environmental justice. Um, there's a lot of facts in here. It talks about bees being a keystone species. I also, once I was buying this, I saw Give Bees a Chance. I'm so glad I bought this book. This book is an amazing book. It's very funny. It goes into lots of details with bees. It talks about many different types of bees. It even explains how bees make honey, which is a great thing to reenact with students by pretending um, the children will laugh and giggle because they find out that bees actually spit into each other's mouths. So we pretend that we were making bees or making honey with as being bees. Um, it also gives you many facts and it talks about a lot of environmental justice um, topics also. There is also a part where it talks about um, ancient Egyptians and the, the honey they made, the bees, during the ancient Egyptian time, the honey then is still edible today. And I thought that was a really fun fact. These were the questions the students asked throughout the unit that I wrote down and we tried to answer or come up with ideas on how we could help bees. Um, you'll find out that a lot of children, especially third graders, do not really like bees. So when you finally get them interested in bees, it's it's rewarding. It's actually extremely rewarding. <laughs> and this is how I found out that many children do not like bees because when I started the unit, we did a bee glyph. And with this glyph, we were able to um, just identify little things like, do you want to be a worker bee? Then you had a singer. If you didn't want to be a worker bee, then you didn't have a singer. So I didn't say you want to be a girl bee or a boy bee. I just do you want to do a lot of work or you just want to sit around and take care of the hive? Um, have you been stung by a bee? Have you not been stung by a bee? And I was amazed at how many third graders have not been stung by a bee. And that was quite impressive. Um, do you like honey? Do you not like honey? And are you afraid of bees? And are you not afraid of bees? And the ones that were scared of bees have blue wings. And as you can see on the board, the red bulletin board is what was out in our hallway. There's a lot of children afraid of bees. There was a lot of blue wings. Now, what we did here is each individual classroom made their glyphs. And then from there, we graphed these bees and we graphed them through, do you like honey or do you not? And some were bar graphs, some were um, pictographs. And then are you afraid of bees or you're not? And then afterwards, I took all the bees and I put them out in the hallway so we could see everybody's glyph and like we could see the whole third grade like how we felt about bees and then throughout the whole unit I just had changed with bees thank goodness because there was a lot that didn't like bees <laughs> so here they are cutting and coloring the bee glyphs and then as you can see here our little Steven he likes honey he has been stung by a bee but he does not like bees and there was his little bee right there that he was making This is one of, I'm a teacher that's been a teacher for many years, and I have always resorted back to, because I've been a science teacher for over 18 years, past worlds for kids, 
I love this website. This website will take you into so many different animals, different species, different insects, pretty much whatever you need in science, you can pretty much find on this website. This had multiple different bees that we could read about. They had the bumblebee, the carpenter bee, the honeybee, and the killer bee. And we just, I had it up on my, my board and the children just read from it. And we learned a lot of facts on these bees. It even tells them the length of the wings of each different kind of bee. Just amazing facts that we learned from these bees. This is a really good website that I, I would suggest if you have some time just to read from. Another thing that we found that the bees are a keystone species. I really liked knowing this. We were able to not only learn what a keystone was, but also that Pennsylvania is a keystone state. So we brought in some social studies and we learned about Pennsylvania. We learned about a keystone and we learned about bees being a keystone species because they pretty much give us one third of our food. If we don't have bees, we're really in trouble. So there was our environmental justice. We need bees. This website, and there's a couple more that I have listed. Every time we started a classroom, I'd have one of the maps up. And this was our beginning of our class. We would talk about the map. It was either about temperatures or um, about how like bees would die with different temperatures, um, different countries, how we're losing our bees. Um, these websites that I have that give us the data science, they're very great for either beginning or ending the class. Sometimes I would begin and end the class with these different maps that we could look at and relate with bees. And it's just a nice either beginning or cool down and discussion time with our students. And then we learned about the, the waggle dance and the round dance. And we reenacted these. Um, if the food is further away, a bee will do a waggle dance, which is more like a figure eight. And if it's closer, they'll do a round dance. So we reenacted that. And it's a lot of fun. Many times we were bees throughout this whole unit. We would just become bees. So the waggle dance, as you can see, it this was pretty nice, but I only had certain kids in this group that signed the paper. But when you get a whole classroom trying to do the waggle dance, it's great. So <laughs> that was great, but I could only take pictures with just a few that signed the papers here. Here are the students. Now at the very end, we used Indy, um, it's a Spiro bot as a bees and the children had honey. Um, well, they had pollen, I'm sorry. They had pollen in these flower containers and they had to drive Indy. And the reason why I chose Indy is because you can drive Indy three different ways. So they had a choice on how they wanted to drive Indy and they would drive them to these flowers. And there was a whole bunch of flowers throughout the room. And then they would go in reach, get the pollen. And then they would put the pollen. And one of the kids came up with this idea and it just seemed to stick and it was amazing. They put the pollen on Indy and like on his spoiler and they would drive it to their beehive and then they would take it off of Indy and put it inside the beehive to help feed the babies inside their beehive. And they had the worker bees. And if you look closely from the first picture that I had in the beginning of the slides, they one group had a queen bee and they put an actual crown on her. And I thought that was just another amazing little detail that these students have picked up through their learning throughout this whole um, unit. So this is what we end it with. And we put um, different types of antennas on Indy. They were, they were able to choose yellow or black. And if you know Indy, you know, you can lose him very easily or her or it. Um, so they were, it was nice to be able to identify your Indy, but it was a lot of fun. It makes kind of a buzzing sound when it's driving. So this was, this was one of our, our fun activities we did at the very end. And here's a whole bunch of Indies going, trying to get the pollen to get back to the beehive. <laughs> I don't, there's something about Indy. Indy makes me smile. If you ever try connecting Indy, you'll, you'll understand. Yeah. <laughs> so then we have, um, we collected a whole bunch of facts throughout this whole unit with all the different things in my lesson plan. 
And you, if you go through, you'll find um, there's a lady from Maine. I took some of her lessons, which were amazing. So I grabbed them and I added them on for us to use. And she had some facts and then we picked up facts throughout. So the kids collected a lot of facts. And this is what we used for even our assessment to understand, did we remember any of these things? I would question them all the time. So we use these and like honeybees never sleep. That's, that's just an amazing thought. And then here is all the information of all the stuff I used for this unit. I, I do not have this in the lesson plan here, but I'm using it right now as a spiral. Um, we finished this lesson plan up in January. So now I found this from Teachers Pay Teachers. It's run a bee farm. So we spiraled back to that and we're coding a bee farm with a project-based learning. And that's been a lot of fun. And if you have any questions, by all means, you can um, email me at lindaphilby at shalarysd.org. If you do try to get me through Facebook, I do not have my picture there. It's two goats. So if you need me, you will see I have two goats. Just to let you know, there's not much information on me on Facebook, but lindaphilby at shalarysd.org is probably your best way of getting in contact with me. And I hope you have a great day and I hope you keep buzzing about bees.